before we start, I just want to let you guys know that uh, as a program, our thoughts and prayers go out to the folks at the Boston Marathon. I don't know if you guys heard about there was an, a couple of explosions there. We don't know what what's really going on, but we thought we'd um, let you know that 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 the seriousness of that sort of overshadows this. But uh, we wanted to make sure everyone was thinking about those folks there. And uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Eric. Um, done a lot of talking over the last two weeks. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming. You know, everybody for coming. Um, I've done a lot of talking with my family, and I've been in the coach's office a numerous amount, of, a numerous amount of times, and um, trying to weigh, weigh out the pros and cons of um, leaving or staying. And um, I've decided that I I want to withdraw my name and continue as an Oregon State Beaver. Um, you know, I love my teammates. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you know, I have a great group of guys over here, and um, we have a really special team, um, not only on the court, but, um, you know, uh, we have some chemistry that, you know, you just want to be a part of. And um, um, I would love to come back another year and play with them and um, uh, get back, to, get to the NCAA tournament and <clears throat> have uh, a great next year. I mean, we have all the pieces and, um, a great bunch of guys, and I love the coaching staff, and I love the Oregon State community, and, um, and I just I, I've decided that I, I want to stay here. Great. Well, uh, on behalf of the program, the coaching staff, we couldn't be more excited that Eric is staying. In case it doesn't show on my face, uh, I was extremely nervous about this, but I'm I'm excited that he's coming back. And with that one, we open it up for questions. Um, probably uh, on Friday, I came into the coach's office and we just, you know, just said um, the decision. Can you kind of walk us through the various stages of your decision making process? Well, of course, we talked on the phone when I was back in uh, Houston or whatever, but uh, um, we just did a lot of thinking. I've, I've made, uh, um, I've talked to the undergraduate committee. Coach has done his research. I've done my research. Um, you know, just trying to figure out. Um, you know, like all this 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 possibility that, that's come up. So, um, you know, it's just been a you know just trying to figure out what's you know what's going on and um, see what's the best decision. Eric's being a, a bit modest. He 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 actually did a lot of research on his own, uh, and then uh, you know we used our network as a staff, talking to general managers, talking to the league, um, talking to different scouts, and and trying to get a real picture of what his opportunity is and. From the feedback that uh, we 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 all garnered, and and Eric doing a lot of the legwork himself, um, we just gave Eric the, the the feedback, and he made the decision on his own. Well, that goes back to me talking about chemistry. Um, you know, we all love each other, and we all want to do this together because. Um, we have a, we have a good team, and you know, coaches you know brought us in from all over the country, and um, and we feel like we can do this. And you know, we had a downfall last year, and I don't think that's how anybody wants to go out. So um, you know, we want to come back and then show Beaver Nation that we can do this. Talking about feedback from different scouts and stuff, what was some of that feedback you got about your chances? Well, you know, I, I did call the committee, and they uh, you know told me you know, it's out of like 21 teams or whatever, and um, you know they would they would tell me. That second round, pretty second round to undrafted, second round, mid second round, second round. They didn't know exactly where I would be placed at, like so they couldn't say early or or mid or second. Some teams said mid, some teams said early second, and um, some teams said undrafted. So um, that was just me hearing out what they had to say. Um, so I called um, the undergraduate committee to see what they thought. Um, but at the same time, I can't. I don't. I, I do hear that, but I, I have a. I feel like I, I can do a lot more, and you know, I can't display that next year. Um, or I could go to the combine, or um, and, and go to the workouts and show my skill set. But um, you know, I, I I think I'd rather do it. Well, I I do rather do it here, and uh, with Oregon State and help get this team back to the NCAA tournament. If you had heard first round, would you? I would have told him to go if it was been first round. I mean, you know, I, I, I say this every year. Uh, well, the last two years I say it every year. Hopefully I'll be saying it every year that um, 
you know, if you're if you're guaranteed money, that's a that's a whole different decision that you have to 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 take based on your family situation. But it's really hard to pass up guaranteed money. And Eric is in a position where at some point he probably will be a first round pick uh, if he continues to progress like he's progressed. I mean, I don't want to speak for the teams, but um, you know, you if you can take the uncertainty out, you know. I'm 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 one of those coaches who say if you have a guaranteed situation, you should take it. Um, I could say it was a tough decision, but at the same time, I know what I'm coming back to. So um, it's it, it's not the worst decision in the world is like I'm sweating every night trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I mean I know if I come back, you know, this this is a, this is this program has come up from a long way and uh, I, I I love being a part of it. And at the same time, um if I was to if I was to go then I would just start, you know, just grinding and grinding and grinding. But, you know, it it wasn't, you know, the the end of the world type thing or, or it's just um too stressful. I mean I Pretty happy with my decision. It was much harder on the coaching staff. Yeah. Was, it, was it any more difficult than when you had to choose which school to go? Uh, no, nah, when I came here, I, f I felt it right away. I didn't, I didn't even take another visit after that. I told coach I wanted to commit. So it's just this type of this type of environment. You love it. When you got that feedback, did anybody tell you what they want to see from you next year as far as skills? All I kind of knew, but at the same time, hearing it from them. Um, my offensive game, um, um, pretty. I guess they say I'm. I, I, I could be more consistent. I want to work on being more consistent on offense, and also they want to see me be more consistent on offense. Um, you know, uh, inside and out, both both aspects of that. Did you talk to Jared in the process? I have actually. I I went to Dallas to see him, not about the process, but just because that's my boy, and I, I went to go see him, and uh, you know we've talked a lot, we've 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 talked over, we talked on the phone. Um, uh, I wouldn't say that his decision made me uh, say I'm, I'm because they said the same thing about him. He went and you know got the first round. That that wasn't my intention, it's because he, he he got that opportunity that I'm gonna try to do that. Um, it was just I'm happy for him because that was my boy and. Um, that's what it was.